Yeah, it's just here. Let's back out there. This one is really good, though. This one is handmade. So which one do I use? Both? One? Whichever one. I like them both. But Organic muscle guy. relief? Yeah, but this one, I bought it from a guy that made it because he has some, like, fucking massive issues. And I literally, he goes, try it. And I went like this, and I walked away, and I wasn't even, like, 10 kiosks, not even, 4 kiosks away. I'm like... <laughs> oh, so I'll try this was, one. Yeah, I make it for me because they told me that I have no se que mierda and he had this, all these braces on and everything. He goes, and I d couldn't find anything. So I, I make it in my house. Oh, 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 oh. oh, my leg hurts. morning guys I woke up with pain in my knee now not my calf so I casted it up put some cream that my aunt bought from some guy who hand makes it for some muscle illness he has um, today I'm meeting up with someone to sell something on offer up and so I decided to make this video that I've had for a while about offer up so this video is going to be tips and tricks on how to use OfferUp. transaction this morning um, I sold some tools that I had left over just laying around scratch my dash hmm. I had some tools left over laying around so I sold them um, that I didn't need and I'm hungry I'm hungry so I'm gonna get oh shit So I'm gonna get Chipotle. And on my way to Chipotle, I will be giving you guys my tips and tricks. So some of these tips and tricks are, how do I say, um, like it depends on your views and how you wanna be as a person. <laughs> so I'm gonna just leave it at that. And your, it depends on your values. And your honorability but um, so I have some tips for selling and I have some tips for buying my account is five stars I've used it ever since I was I don't know 17 as soon as it came out um, so I would say 2015 2016 or probably more 2016 when I was a senior um, and I've done over I'd say around like 80 transactions on uh, on offer up um, on my account you will only see uh, you will only see on my account you will only see that I've done 50 because that's only 50 people that have left reviews a lot of the times when you sell or buy something the person doesn't mark it as sold so there goes an opportunity for you to improve your score and your ratings so um, if you're selling anything and you're watching this video just mark your items as sold and and give the person an honest review if they sucked then tell them they sucked that way someone else doesn't have to deal with someone who's not worth their time just like you did um, but yeah so tips for buying and a lot of these I wasn't really lying but I had a very unreliable car at the time, so I couldn't be making drives, you know, 30, 40 minutes like I did this morning. This morning, the guy was kind of being annoying, and he's like, oh, I could just buy it at Home Depot, and I was like, whatever, fine, you're right, I'll just sell it to you. Um, 
But I can make the drive in this car that I have. But sometimes you can't. And maybe you're in that situation. Maybe you don't have a car at all. Maybe you're a teenager and you don't drive. Or whatever your case is. Um, you can always say you live or you're from or you're in an area super far away. For example, I used to live in Hollywood, Florida. Um, I told people I was from Fort Lauderdale. Or sometimes, like Pompano, can you meet me in Hollywood? And they're like, damn, if they're going to make me halfway, then yeah, I'll make the drive. At least 20 bucks. Like at, most people are comfortable with 20 bucks from their listing price. Even though they have a firm price, um, you can always click ask instead of uh, make offer. And you can send it what's the lowest you will take. That's the best way to get the lowest price for something for when people put the option to not um, make offers but you never know sometimes people will take it or they don't know how to use the app I've made some offers and you know I've, I've gotten some good deals always check the reviews um, if it's someone who just joined you can cut them some slack but a lot of scams it'll say joined this year joined a month ago joined two months ago so they don't have history anything that says 2015 2013 2018 you know they've been using this app for years, so they're a good person to buy from. Um, as far as making offers, you can always say, hey, I'm, I'm going to make the trip. Um, I'll do it for this. Don't, don't ask. Tell. Um, hey, I'll, I'll make the drive for 50 bucks. You know, whatever, whatever it is. So if it's a PS4, for example, and they're selling it for $250, i will make the drive for $200. I'm in... You know, I'm from the Keys in Miami. How the fuck was I not even gone for 10 minutes and my car got shitted on by like a dozen crows? Fucking fuck those. So when you're on their page, you always want to check the date, like when they posted it. If that shit says, you know, two years ago, odds are they probably bought the app or downloaded the app to um, to list the thing it didn't sell and then they forgot to use it most of the time but what you can do is click on the person's um, profile picture and it'll show their other items for sale and then click on their latest item and see when that was uploaded so a lot of the times for example um, they'll list something for $200 you know a uh, paintball gun uh, this is an experience that I went through paintball gun uh, it said two years ago, and I was like, damn, they probably don't even waste my time. I clicked on the guy's thing, and he uploaded, like, a video game for, like, you know, a week ago. I was like, oh, so he still has the app. So I made the offer. And when you see that it's been a long time, and by long time, I mean, like, three, three months to, like, I don't know, more like uh, three months to, like, a year and a half. The chances of you buying it really cheap are very high because it's been a long time and they're like, I don't even care at this point. Let me just get out my hands. So, yeah, that, that that paintball gun was listed like a year ago and then he hadn't sold it and I got it for really cheap. It ended up not working, but I don't necessarily blame the person um, unless they sold it to me broken. But, but yeah, um, you always got to beware. Make sure you test things before you buy it. Before you give them the money, before you cash app them, um, some people will take cash app. Today's exchange, I took cash app because that's what I use. Um, and yeah, uh, always check things out. If it's a phone, turn it on, look at it, use it. Make sure they're good people. You can tell how what kind of people they are um, based on like how they talk and how they meet you and how willing they are to help you. Um, don't buy phones on offer up. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You can get lucky. You could. I'm actually selling one of my phones now. Um, but it could be someone like me who knows it works. A lot of the times that I've tried to buy people phones as gifts because I don't have money to just buy it brand new. I ended up doing that for that person anyways, but just don't, I, I don't know. If you want to, you can take the risk. If it looks like it's someone who sells phones, they probably won't budge on the price, but at least you'll know the phone works. Um, but yeah, I got a phone. 
the SIM card reader didn't work. We took it. It didn't work. They weren't going to help us. They didn't care. We ended up buying a new one there anyways. So, you know, sometimes a phone might be functional, but something like the SIM card won't work. Tips on finding the person if you want to take them to small claims court. Um, because you can get your money back if you want to go to court and all that other stuff. Um, sometimes I wouldn't, for you personally, I wouldn't recommend putting your profile picture. I put a picture of me paintballing so they don't know my face. Um, but um, you, if you click on the person, it says following. Anytime you pair it with your Facebook, anytime someone on your friends list makes an account, it automatically makes you follow them. It'll say now following Jimmy. Just joined offer up. Now following. So what I did for that person that sold me the broken iPhone is that I clicked on their profile, found one of their names, because some people can change their name. You could put Tim or you know Gangsta, whatever you want to put. But some people just keep it as their name from Facebook. So I clicked on one of the friends. And this person only had their first name on the thing. And then I went on the um, on Facebook, looked up the person uh, that wasn't private. So then I was able to go on her friends list and then look up the name Cassandra. I think that was the person's name. And then I found the same profile picture, same everything. And then I was like, Cassandra blank, I know who you are. I want my money back. You sold me something that didn't work. And then she felt bad and she uh, cash out me for the phone. Or I'd like to say she she said she was going to. She never did. She did. Was nice and gave me uh, uh, headphones that came with the phone. Brand unused. So we kept the headphones and I sold the phone um, for parts. But, you know, some people might be honorable and actually will send you the money back or half of the money back or, or take the returns back. You never know. Uh, I, I would... Um, take things back if they don't work it depends um, my cousin sold the trampoline that he didn't know was missing parts he took it back you know people people are good uh, be honorable I have a story where um, the person for some reason offer up was getting maintenance done so um, the person stopped replying and we couldn't communicate at all because the actual server was down. So another tip I have is, if you can, if you're comfortable, exchange a phone number. So that way you can text them, they can text you, and you know it'll go through. Because that one time I was like stranded outside his house for like 40 minutes and I really needed the thing. Uh, I think it was a Wi-Fi router. And then later when I came back in service, he said I left it outside, I had to work. And then I, I looked at his house and it was there um, on the side of his door. And I took it and I could have stole it essentially but i didn't i left them the money i folded it up put it on a piece of paper and i put a rock on it and then i told him hey it's there and then he said appreciate it you could have taken it so be honorable it comes around trust me if you don't want returns just put it in your bio oh another story i have before we go on to selling tips um one time i bought a freezer from somebody and he was just finished washing it. Um, it was in the hood, so I'm probably to blame. Read those telltale signs and just go home. I uh, ended up buying a freezer that had maggots in the like lining of the, the seal. So it was really gross. I puked. I tried to clean it out. It didn't work. I soaked the thing in bleach. It was There was still maggots there. I had to like make a makeshift freezer like seal with duct tape like weatherproof duct tape and it kind of worked um, it was really annoying I messaged the guy I'm like yo can you take this back he didn't take it back he told me nah you should have checked it before you left so that goes back to my checking things uh, tip just check it because people will people will mess with you don't expect to get the money that you want to unless you're patient if you're patient, you probably will sell it for the price you want to sell it for. But yeah, um, always put or best offer, in my opinion. If you don't want offers, you can put that. Um, but people are more in, inclined to message you if they see an offer available. Even if you inside and mentally know you're not going to take any offers, just do it. You never know. 
you know you could list it or or always list it more than what you actually want so if you're selling a ps4 it's 200 bucks that's a good price um if you're selling it for 200 if you want 200 i mean then list it for 300 and then put obo people will be inclined boom 200 there you go you got the money you wanted always add things to increase the value that don't matter to you for example when I was selling my PS4, I had the very first one, and I was buying the new slim uh, model. I put a, the stand that I had for it. I put the controllers. I put games that I didn't play, that I didn't care about. Well, GameStop was only giving me like two, two. Everyone knows how bad GameStop rips you off. They were giving me like two bucks, two pennies for it. So throw it in there. Boom. A lot of people are parents. They're older. They don't know. He was like, "Oh, these are good games." I'm like, "Yeah, of course, great games." Boom, he bought it with the games bundle, increased the value of the of the total price. And you know, that that, that helps too. I got I normally never I've honestly only gotten a bowl like one other time from Chipotle and I've been there hundreds of times. Um I, I like burritos. Sometimes I hate when they double wrap it. I wasn't in a car carby burrito mood today. Uh, I've tried the barbacoa on the kids taco um, before, but never in a bowl. I didn't want to do chicken or steak on like a bowl. So let's see how this goes. I felt like they did not give me a good portion of meat, but we will see. I'm going to tear this down. And then afterwards, I'm going to shower and uh, get ready to clock in. We've got an hour till we work i finished eating i forgot to do a quick outfit update yeah i got my got a hoodie that my cousin gave me mandalorian But yeah, I'm gonna shower and then clock in. It's that time, unfortunately.